Welcome back viewers, Mac T here, and this is Mac T Ford Edge, and I had an idea. I had to get rid of my dealer sticker. You know, they put that on there to advertise. They're not paying me, so I'm going to get rid of it, right? So, anyway, in this video, we're going to remove the sticker. Welcome back to Mac T Video. This is a Mercy Go production. All right, viewers, I really didn't use the grinder on it. Although, some of the viewers and members that have joined the Mac T Ford Edge Facebook recommended maybe using a grinder. I think they were kidding me. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. So we're not going to use this. But again, not a good choice. Some of the viewers recommended was gasoline in a sandpaper. Well, I'm not so sure that's a good idea either. Uh, you know, I want to keep my edge for a while, and I do value my own hide. So, we're not going to use gasoline and sandpaper. Some of them recommended, hey, a scraper tool with a razor blade on it. Eh, not so sure that's going to help the paint out any. So, I think we'll skip that one, too. And then some people said, well, gee, why don't we just use liquid chlorine? That'll tear it off. After all, it is like a corrosive and it will eat it away, along with the paint, the metal, and everything else involved in it. So that is definitely not a good choice either. And others say, well, gee, brake fluid. Brake fluid takes a lot of stuff off. After all, it'll take the paint off, so why couldn't it take the sticker off? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Nah, we're not going to use that either. And last but not least, somebody mentioned, hey, use WD-40. That'll take it off, and it may. It's worth a shot. I'm worth a try to get it done. But I also have some other stuff that I'm gonna use. But WD-40 has got a shot, and we we'll might check it out here a little bit, but I'm gonna use a few other things. Anyway, we went through all these other items, and then also there's recommendations that we use a hair dryer. So they said basically get it warm, and you should be able to peel it off with your fingernails essentially and then clean it up a little bit, wipe it down with some Windex and then of course that is the non-chemical way to do it really is what I'm being told. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try a little bit of this to see how it works and then uh, we're going to check out a few other options. Alright folks, we're going to go ahead and see what this does. Get it nice and warm. As they said, we apply heat to it we should be able to start peeling it off. But these are all individual stickers on here. As you can see, it is peeling it off. Just got to get it warm. have it we pretty much got rid of all the all the mess here on the sticker now as you can see right in there we have this residue here so I'm going to take a little bit of a sticker removal uh, chemical and get that goo off of there and then we're going to clean her up spritz her with some wax and then we'll have it removed uh, in order to get this goo off of here I do have label and sticker removal uh, stuff that I'm using and as you can see uh, it's from Turtle Wax and it's just stuff I found off the shelf and it looked like it would work so I went ahead and bought this and we're going to spray a little bit on there and of course get rid of some of this uh, goo that's on there 
and it's taking her right off. Not a problem. Smells good too, citrus. So get that wiped off of there. And then of course, we got it nice and clean. And got all that label off of there. And of course, it does take the wax off of there. So. And of course, we're gonna go ahead and use a little wax on there. Just spray on, easy on, easy off. And of course, we're gonna spray that on there. Wipe her down. So we got a little bit of a protectant on there. After all, we did remove some of it. And of course, nice and clean, ready to go again. Well, folks, that's it. No longer advertising for the car dealer. Got rid of the sticker with a hair dryer. We didn't have to use the gasoline, the scraper, the brake fluid, none of that. Hair dryer worked pretty simple. Now keep in mind, if you're gonna remove an emblem like this, it takes a little bit more effort and you gotta take and make sure you soap it down. And I would say, uh, if you use something like this label and sticker remover, spray, spray it on there and then of course let it uh, soak in and then apply the hair dryer to it, get it warm and then take some fishing line and then use the fishing line to sort of saw through it and then eventually you can get the gummy double sided tape stuff off of there and get those uh, labels off of there if you want to debadge your edge for whatever reason. But hey, I like the word edge so I ain't going to debadge it. But I did get rid of this label. It's been on there so I don't have to advertise for the guy I bought it from. But this is Mac T Ford Edge. And one thing I want you to remember is when both feet hit the floor in the morning, it's a great day. And I always have a great day. And I want you to also. Now, also remember, whatever you do, you want to make sure you go to Mac T Ford Edge on Facebook. And also subscribe to Mac T Ford Edge on YT. YT's it, folks. That's where you're going to see my videos at. And I want you all to watch and learn as we go so that we can make our jobs easier, make our maintenance easier on our edge. But by all means, make sure you listen to the following messages, because anyway, here's Mercy Girl, and she's gonna give you some follow-on directions. Go for it, Mercy Girl. Car repair is fun. Thank you for watching MacT's videos, and remember to like and subscribe. Seagull Production.